Welcome to our Easter Sunday celebration from St John's. Some of us will gather in church this morning to celebrate that Christ is risen. And I pray that those of you who are watching at home will be able to join in this celebration too. This is the day when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life. Throughout the world, Christians celebrate the awesome power of God. As we hear his word and proclaim all that God has done, we can be confident that we shall share his victory over death and live with him forever. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. This year at St John's, we set up six different stations within the church to tell the story of Holy Week and Easter. It's a project called Experience Easter that began in Gloucester Diocese and has since been used around the country. Here in Sandyway, we invited classes from our local primary schools and uh, used the, uh, all the different areas during Lent within our own congregations to, to remind us and help us recollect the story of those seven days which are at the heart of our faith. And so I'm now going to share with you some of the pictures and uh, as we listen to the music when I survey the wondrous cross, I hope that you will experience Easter with us too. Sorrow 
And now let's say sorry to God. When we have failed to recognise you as Saviour, when we have failed to acknowledge you as our risen Lord, when we have doubted that you are with us, Lord, forgive us and fill our hearts with joy. When we have not shared your good news and when we have been too concerned with ourselves, when we have not shared the joy of knowing you with others, Lord, forgive us and fill our hearts with joy. When we have failed to bring hope to the hopeless, when we have failed to bring joy to the joyless, when we have failed to offer your grace to those who hurt us, Lord, forgive us and fill our hearts with joy. And may the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his spirit and raise you to new life in Christ, our Lord. Amen. Sue is now going to read our Bible reading for us. The reading is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, the women came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared they found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remembering how he told you, while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners, and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb they told all this to the eleven, and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Having those decorations from Experience Easter in church uh, during Lent and for Holy Week have reminded me of the unexpectedness of events, of the surprise that lies at the heart of the Christian faith. We remembered that Jesus rode into, a, into Jerusalem on a donkey as the crowds cried, Hosanna, save us. But the promise of salvation was not that brought by a soldier king who would overthrow the Roman armies, but a servant king who would kneel at his disciples' feet and wash their feet, taking on the task of the lowest servant in the household. And then Jesus shared bread and wine with his friends in his last meal and left an example, a legacy, for Christians to follow. And of course we have done that in the, in the uh, service of Holy Communion as we share bread and wine together and remember Jesus who shared bread and wine with his friends on the night before he was betrayed. And then the arrest and trial and death of Jesus. Pain and humiliation came to Jesus not in an unexpected way, because the Gospels are clear that he knew what was coming. And Jesus was not the first or the last to be punished in a cruel way and to suffer the injustice of a sham trial. But the shock that this is God's son who's chosen this path. And then we get to Easter Sunday the most unexpected surprise. 
the empty tomb and the appearance of the risen Jesus to his friends. Despair turned to hope and God's love triumphed over the darkness of death. What a topsy-turvy story and God is found in the most surprising and unexpected places. As we look around the world today, we will be conscious of darkness and suffering. And we know that for many people today, it will be hard to celebrate anything. <clears throat> Those who have had to flee from their homes. Those across the world who are suffering under violent regimes. It can be hard to hold on to hope, but as Christians we do that. That Jesus did not forego the pain and humiliation and walked his footsteps to the cross. And yet God's power, God's love restored him to life. And today, in this world full of contradictions, this world full of pain, I pray again that Christ would change the hearts of those bent on violence, but also walk with and comfort those whose lives have been devastated and torn apart. Wherever we are today, may we be caught up again in the surprise of God's love, May our breath catch and our hearts rise with the hope of God's love demonstrated in the resurrection of Jesus who lives and reigns with God the Father and is with us by his Spirit today. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. God of grace, we bring before you those who have no joy and no hope. Those who see no future, no light at the end of the tunnel. Those scarred by pain and sadness and those who grieve. We remember today those who are struggling with debt and those who are anxious about the future. God of grace and resurrection power, bring your joy and healing today. We pray for all those who are living in places of danger and violence. 
women, men and children forced to leave their homes to escape war and fighting. Particularly we pray today for the people of Ukraine, Afghanistan, Syria and the Yemen and all places in the world where people are tormented by violence. We pray for women, men and children trying to escape from violent partners and relatives and those who have woken up in fear this morning. Please bring them to a place of safety. God of grace and resurrection power, bring your joy and healing today. We pray for all who are working today and particularly those who are caring for others. Nurses, doctors and healthcare assistants, funeral directors, paramedics and the emergency services. Give them strength and patience as their time is spent looking after others and as they face so many demands. God of grace and resurrection power, bring your joy and healing today. We pray for all who are sad and particularly for those who are grieving whether the loss has been recent or longer ago. Surround them with your love, uphold them with your strength and may your light shine the darkness of loss. God of grace and resurrection power, bring your joy and healing today. We pray for ourselves that we may have wholeness, peace and hope through the presence in our lives of the risen Lord. May we be Easter people, willing to share the good news of hope, restoration and freedom with all those that we meet. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen.
God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. And God the Holy Spirit, who filled the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.